Transit Custom 2.2 2013 onwards brake pad wear service now. Horrible message on the screen. Um, there is a way of coding it out um, in the BCM, uh, but I've just thought I would run through with you how to mend this properly. Um, naturally, we're seeing a few of these um, as they're getting older. It's usually like a piece of loom that breaks down, and it's never usually right by the wheel, of course. Uh, it's usually running along the chassis leg or whatever, but I'll show you how to test it. I'll show you where it's pinned onto the BCM, and of course, as they're getting older, the, the proper thing to do is to mend the wiring, but I know that I'll also show you how to just ground it out and make the light go away, because naturally, that's probably what'll happen on your drive, right? Um, but I'll show you how to do that, but we'll be going through and mending it properly. So, um, so yeah, officially, there are two versions of the brake pad wear sensors. Um, the, the, the most common one is connected to the BCM, which is located in here. There is a rarer version which is located, uh, which is pinned into the ABS module itself. But essentially, I, I'm relatively sure 95% of you will have your um, connections into the BCM in here. So what we need to do is get in behind here. So um, this comes out, torque screw in there. This panel just pulls off. This panel pulls off. Another torque screw somewhere here, then this will come off. Then we can get to everything we need to do. So let's do that. So these just pull out, just on clips here. This is my little torque screw here. And there's one cheeky little fella down in there. This just comes out. So we can just undo that, undo that. This panel comes off. Okay, panel's off. Um, and this is the BCM in here. And you can see all these connectors on here. There's three large connectors um, and a small one. So the connector we're interested in is at the back there. It's labeled brown. I'm just shining the light on it now. I think it's called like the C2208C or something according to the Ford literature. But that's essentially the connector that we need to get to. Um, obviously, make sure your batteries are all disconnected first. You've probably got two under the seat. The front one's probably flat because it's a transit. Um, but essentially... That's where we need to get. So there's plenty of room to get your hands in now. Now we've got rid of all these panels. So you get your hand in. Oh, sorry about the video. There's a little clip there. Pull this rocker all the way back. I give it a wiggle. This one's a bit dirty. She's uh, been around a bit. There we go. Connector out. Okay, so we've got our brown connector out. Um, I've just hooked it over here for now just so that I can video and show you what's going on. So the pin we're interested in is pin 21. Um, so it's, it's easy to find because we've got these four larger pins on the opposite connector go in the diagonal and then it's the second row in one, two, three. That is pin 21. So that there is the pin we're interested in. So what we need to do essentially is measure the resistance between there and ground. So we can use just a multimeter. I've just got this cheeky little go here clamp there we'll clamp it onto there onto the ground and then we'll uh, current return and then we'll just measure the resistance from there once we've done that once we've seen that and i'm telling you now that this will be crazy so we'll be able to um work our way around all of the sensors and find out where the problem lies now that's the official way of fixing it if you just want the light to go away the van's getting old not interested don't want to replace the loom whatever grind this pin out the wire on the other side so on the other side, if you take the casing off the back, which is dead easy, it's just got clips in all four corners, you've just got to take out a little screwdriver, you'll see that in there, um, hopefully, there's a blue wire with a green trace, which is just on where my thumb is. That little puppy there is the one that goes out to all your sensors. Some of them are fitted with four sensors, some of them are fitted with two diagonally, but essentially, it just comes out of there and then goes in series to the next one and then it's grounded out. So... That's, that's it's, it's as simple as that. It's just a, a very simple circuit. Ground that out. Not that I suggest you do, but should you ground that out, there will be no warnings on the screen. But the other place that your uh, brake wear sensors can connect is to the ABS module. ABS module is just there, and it's lift that connector up. Conveniently, it's pin 21 in there also, but if it's vacant in the connector, then it is obviously not there. And it's the same with the BCM. If you've not got that cable connected to the BCM, um, it'll be in that ABS module, I'm sure. That's from my experience. Um, it's easy to get to. Um, headlight out, zap that out. Um, I usually just pull this out. It's like just a few eight mils, a few clips holding cables in and all this sort of shifties up out of the way and you can get right down in there. Absolute doddle. So hopefully that'll uh, make your transit uh, custom slightly less annoying when you jump in. Um, hopefully it's helped you. Obviously, uh, you know, be a bit beware. Don't just go and uh, throw grounds at 
every pin that you come across you know do your own checking due diligence uh, so so yeah I hope that's helped uh, again I'm Steve from PVE follow the page if you like some interesting stuff we don't generally do this too often on YouTube we see quite a bit of this sort of thing but most of our YouTube's based around sort of uh, aftermarket management stuff but you know if you're interested give us a follow thanks again Thank you.